Okay, so today I've come to Ilfracoon. I'm going to walk to Saunton Sands, which is uh, 16 miles away. It's a beautiful evening, it's about 6 o'clock. That's a good thing about this time of year, um, where the days are so long you can walk a few hours into the evening, which is what I intend to do now. I'm going to hopefully do about 5 miles and get to Ball Point. I'm going to look to set a tent up around there and then uh, yeah, finish the rest of the walk to Saunton uh, Sands off to, tomorrow morning. So yeah, let's see how we get on. What a fantastic evening. It really is quite spectacular tonight. So I've never been to Lundy before, the island of Lundy that is. Uh, but if you want to go, this is one way to get there. Ilfracombe to Lundy on this ferry. So it's uh, on its way back. There we go. Wow, it's such a nice evening, man. tempted to set the tent right up here. I really am. <laughs> but I want to go just a little bit further. But nice view, flattish ground, very tempting. <laughs> this is actually a good example of the Southwest Coast Path. It's very up and down. It's part of the part of the course, you know, you, there's no getting away from it. So we're going down here, we're gonna go into that coom or valley ahead and then if I zoom in a bit you can see the path zigzagging its way back up and you, you get lots and lots of that type of thing on the southwest coast path as I say it's part of the geography of the place which what makes it actually um, but yeah I mean luckily I don't mind climbing but <laughs> if you're not a climber it's um, it can be a challenge but well worth the climb well worth it well worth it Morning. So I spent a windy night near Mort Point, which is kind of Bullockham way. Yeah, it's pretty windy. <laughs> I've had some breakfast, and yeah, it's 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 not a bad morning at all, actually. Um, sun's rising behind me. Yeah. Um, so uh, onwards to Saunter now. Well, this is quite nice. We've got some great seals down here. I've just counted seven.
five, six. I don't know where the seventh has gone. Probably gone for a dive somewhere. Yeah, nice. at Willacombe. Really nice place to have a little break. Super friendly staff, fantastic coffee. I had a sneaky pan of chocolate which was also great. And the staff even topped my water bo bottles up without me having to ask, which when you're hiking quite long distances, it's so nice to have that, someone offer that rather than you, because sometimes I feel a bit bad asking particularly when they're selling bottled water themselves, but no, they just came up and said, can, can we top your water bottles up? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, the snack chat will come. Pay a visit if in this part of the world. Um, yeah, I, I, really good. Okay, so, um that's Woolacombe Bay. It is just um, approaching headland here, Baggy Point, and then we'll see Croyd Bay. So ahead of us there, that's uh, Croyd Bay. Uh, I know it's nice to walk on the beach, but personally, <laughs> I think sand is the worst surface to walk on. Hard to get any traction and you get sand in your shoes. <laughs> but I, I'm not grumbling, not grumbling. Salt and sands ahead of us. As you can see, it's actually I've walked this stretch of beach, and uh, memory serves me correct. It's a, it's a couple of miles. So where it goes into the, um, I think it's the Tor Estuary. I think it is. That's Crow Point, or, or uh, it's all roughly there. But yeah, so we're nearly at Salt and Sands. Okay, so I've made this to Salt and Sands. So all in all, my, my GPS went a bit funny, but I think it's about 17 and a half miles, give or take a bit. But yeah, um, really nice walk, fantastic setting off yesterday evening. Um, yeah, and finishing off um, what we, half 11. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, nice section of the southwest coast path that was ideal. 